As long as, long as y'all can hear me, bro. But anyway, man, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, bro. With your boy Gio, man. I look white as hell right now, but it's just the lighting. So just, you know what I'm saying? It's all cool, though. The title of the video, bro. Yeah. I caught a case at 16. Well, not a case. I caught a char my first ever, like, charge on my record at 16. And I'm finna explain exactly what that charge was and how it happened as soon as I take a bite. Because your boy is hungry as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's the first thing I ate all day. So, let me just take a little bite. Am I supposed to mix this vinaigrette sauce, bro? And if y'all don't know what this is, bro, it's vinaigrette sauce, bro. I ain't know about it until my dog had though, bro. So, shout out to my dog. This shit's fire, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This shit gas. So, let me put y'all on now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people really shake their, like, Chipotle bowl, bro. But I don't do that. Like... Y'all let me know if y'all do this, bro, but I don't. But yeah, bro, like I was saying, bro, I caught a charge at 16 years old, oh my God. Um, now, if y'all wondering what charge it was, it's something called truancy, all right? If y'all don't know what truancy is, basically, it's getting caught by a, an actual police officer outside of school. So if you're skipping or whatever, and you get caught by an actual cop, like a real life cop. You know, they, it's called truancy. I'm a gangster, okay? I'm a gangster. So if you're wondering how everything started, let me just start from the top. It was, I was 16 years old. It was like my sophomore year. Around that's when the time I started skipping school. I didn't skip school. I skipped school like once in my freshman year, but it wasn't until sophomore year that I really started skipping school for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was like third period, right? Um, I was I was skipping that with two other people. You know, they were older than me. So we were in our school parking lot in the car skipping school. And my, mind you, that car didn't belong to none of us. It was actually a friend of the other person that I was skipping with. So, you know, he was in that car. He got the keys and everything. Mind you, he don't even got a license, bro. You know what I'm saying? I found out he didn't even have a license. I'll tell you how I found this out in a little bit. But but um, we were in the parking lot. We were in the school parking lot. I turn around this month. It's one of the other guys is rolling up a joint, right? He's rolling up a joint in the, in the school parking lot while skipping school. Now, y'all see where this is going. But, you know, we decided to leave the school. And we were like, you know what? Let's go somewhere else where it's more, I guess, safer, I guess. I don't know. So... You leave the school, and guess what they do? Guess what we do? We go into the first neighborhood, all right? So you get out of the school parking lot, you know what I'm saying? You go to the main street, and you go to the first neighborhood on the right. That's kind of stupid if I really look at it now. But yeah, that's, you know what I'm saying? We That's what happened. We ain't want to go too far, I guess. I don't know. So we go post up, you know, in the neighborhood. Chilling. We ain't really think nothing too much of it. You know, like I said, we got weed in the car and shit. And all I know is I was just I was just sleeping or whatever. Right? I was just chilling in the back. I was just so tired, bro. The main driver, the one that has, don't have a license, he was outside. I don't know what he was doing, getting the weed or some shit. I don't know what he was doing. But he was outside and the trunk was open or whatever. And then all of a sudden, bro, we see a cop car pull up, bro. Literally a JSO officer. That's what we call it, Jacksonville Security Officer. I'm sure. We see a we see a police officer pull up, bro. Mind you, we was there. For a cool five, ten minutes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling there outside someone's house. So they probably, those motherfuckers probably called the cops on us or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how, but literally a police officer pulled up. And when we seen the police officer, we were like, fuck. We're fucked. We're actually fucked. And, bro, the thing is, we had weed on us too, bro. But they didn't catch us because, uh, I don't know how the hell he did it, bro. But he's like... He, he was like in a bag and he quickly just, you know, man, tossed that bit out, bro. He literally just tossed that bit out and then he played that bit off like he was eating, like he had crackers in the back somehow or some shit, bro. But he played it off like he was eating. I don't know how he did it, bro, but he did it. You know what I'm saying? And then the police officer comes, bro. He gets out the car. He comes up to us, you know, and I was inside the damn car with the windows down. The windows were down and stuff and I can hear what they're talking about. He comes up to us, he was like, so what are you guys doing? All right? And then the main driver with no license, y'all know what he said, bro? 
and was like, oh no, we're just skipping school. But like, literally straight up, he told him, nah, we're not doing anything, we're just skipping school. Well, you basically just confessing to your fucking crime, I guess. You know what I'm saying? You really just, I didn't say anything, bro. He was the main, you know what I'm saying? He was outside. He was the one talking, so he, but I did hear him saying, no, we just skipping school. And I was like, yeah, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. We got escorted back to the, uh, to the school, bro. And we went to the, uh, not the dean's office, but it's like some other place. Um, I think guidance or something. I don't know where we went, but we went somewhere. We walk inside and, you know, like the dean's there and whatever. And you had to call parents, bro. Now, mind you, my mom, thankfully, my mom doesn't really understand English like that. She understands it, but not like that. You know what I'm saying? Not the, the whatever that she was like being told, like, hey, your son got truancy, blah, blah, blah. He was skipping school, blah, blah, blah. That's what they told her, bro. And then I got on the phone with her. And I forgot what I told her, bro. But I I got away with it with my mom. Though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got away with it. I just told her that, hey, um, I had to go home and take a shit or whatever. And, I, you know what I'm saying? They got mad. Something around that line is what I told her what happened, right? Of course she believed me. She was, of course she was mad. Like, bro, you should just take shit at school. Blah 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 blah. And I was like, okay, mom, whatever, you know. Cause I um, cause I don't know about y'all, but I, I would never take a shit at school ever. I would never. I don't, get, bro. I just, I, hell no. First of all, motherfuckers too childish. They might just, you know, what I'm saying, throw a damn paper, a paper towel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Motherfuckers too childish in that school. And then that shit dirty as hell. Like, who the hell wants to take a shit out of school, bro? Not me. Now, if you really have to, you got to. You know what I'm saying? But me, I would always just get out of school and go home and take a shit. And then I'll just go back. Really, that's what I did, bro. But apart from that, yeah, so I was called my mom. I told her what happened. You know, I told her that I just got caught, you know what I'm saying, going, leaving school to go take a shit and coming back. After we called our parents, we got three days of in-school suspension, ISSP. Yeah, if y'all ever had ISSP, bro, let me know. Three days of ISSP, I was like, damn. You would expect ISSP to be, you know, same, so boring, no talking. No, bro. That ISSP teacher was cool as hell. She didn't give a damn. She was just like, bro, if someone walks in, y'all know what y'all got to do. Just get to work, whatever. And I was like, yeah, cool, bet. But I finessed it, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I would literally go around like 11, 12 in the, like 12 p.m. Like I would go halfway before the school ends and that still counts as a full day of ISSP. That's what I did, bro. Because what the hell do I look like waking up at 7 in the morning, getting to school at like 7.30 and then staying in ISP the whole day? Hell no. I'd rather just get there halfway through the day. I'll stay there for a couple hours and boom, call it a day. That's one day of ISSP. That's all I did, bro. I literally finessed it. I didn't know I had truancy on my record, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Until, you know, I had a little something happen with my friends. This was, and this was outside of school. We were fishing in some lady's backyard, but it was literally a pond. It was literally like a, it was like, a, it's literally a pond. Or a neighborhood pond, I guess you can say. But it was in people's backyards or whatever. They called the cops, I guess. And then they come here. The cops came and, you know, they were cool about it. They weren't mad. We were just literally telling them, like, yo, we're fishing. We're not fucking, we're not robbing a house. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're literally just fishing or whatever. And then he took our IDs and he ran our names. And it comes up saying, he was like, yeah, you know you have truancy on your record. I was like, huh? I got truancy on my record, my boy. What? And I was like, what the hell does that mean, bro? And he said, it means you've been caught outside of school by a police officer. And I was like, oh, makes sense. But that shit's not on my record no more, bro. Plus, that charge ain't really that crazy, you know what I'm saying? But still, my record was dirty. I'm a real gangster, no cap. But that's about it. More of the story, kids. Stay in school. Don't skip. If you're going to skip... Don't go to the neighborhood next to the goddamn school. All right. With that being said, I'm finna go finish my food, watch some YouTube. Thank y'all for watching. Anyways, but yeah, more public interviews coming soon. Next week, I got hella, hella bangers coming. Um, Y'all stay tuned. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Gang! Yeah.